to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Welcome to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast, broadcast number 220. As always, it is absolutely tremendous to be with you today, uh, to encourage you to pray, to pray with you, to encourage you to pray for me as well. Today I would like to begin by sharing with you an old poem turned into a hymn titled Inspirer and Hearer of Prayer by Augustus M. Toplady. I believe I pronounced his last name right. Inspirer and hearer of prayer, thou shepherd and guardian of thine, my all to thy covenant care, I sleeping or waking resign. If thou art my shield and my sun, the night is no darkness to me, and fast as my minutes roll on, they bring me but nearer to thee. A sovereign protector I have, unseen yet forever at hand, unchangeably faithful to save, Almighty to rule and command. His smiles and his comforts abound. His grace as the dew shall descend. And walls of salvation surround the soul he delights to defend. And the church said, Amen. Our prayer motivator verse from the Word of God today is Psalm 145, 18, which reads, The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Allow me to share with you some important points regarding this verse from Matthew Henry's commentary. Uh, I love the old Matthew Henry commentary. Uh, he was anointed when he expounded upon the Word of God. Uh, pastors and evangelists and missionaries and Sunday school teachers down through the years have a lot to uh, a lot to to give honor and praise to old Matthew Henry. We owe, in other words, Matthew Henry a lot because he's been the old standby commentary in nearly every church uh, to um, that we can um, go to when we have no place else to go. So we thank God for Matthew Henry. What a blessing he has been to the church. And so we use him in this prayer motivator broadcast now uh, to expound upon the verses that we read regarding prayer. Listen to him this morning. He says about that verse, God is present everywhere, but in a special way he is nigh to those who call him, as he is not to others. He is in their hearts and dwells there by faith, and they dwell in him. He is nigh to those that call upon him to help them in all times of need. He will be nigh to them that they may have what they ask and find what they seek if they call upon him in truth 
and sincerity. Somebody ought to say amen for Brother Matthew Henry. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our prayer motivator quote today is from R.A. Torrey. He said, the Spirit, when he prays through us or helps us to meet the mighty oughtness, I like that, the mighty oughtness, the mighty oughtness of right praying, trims our praying down to the will of God. Our prayer motivator devotional today is part one of a new series titled The Problem with Indefinite Praying. The Problem with Indefinite uh, Specific Praying. A little consideration will show that indefinite prayer not only fails to get things from God, uh, but shows a sinful state of heart that must greatly grieve God. A little consideration will show that indefinite prayer not only fails to get things from God, but shows a sinful state of heart that must greatly grieve uh, God. Uh, what he's saying here, I believe, is it, uh, it shows a lack of faith in God. It shows a lack of belief in God. You, it shows that you don't want to get out on that limb and ask for something definite because you really don't truly believe that God will hear you and answer you. First, indefinite prayer, he goes on to say, is often a mere formality and is insincere. Many people pray day after day for things that they do not really desire. But Mark 11.24 stipulates, What things soever you desire, when ye pray, how could God answer prayers that do not represent a sincere desire? Some people pray to be heard of men Think how many of our public prayers are indefinite, uh, not specific, not asking anything of God, and not getting anything from God as well. We're going to cut it short here today. Uh, we will pick up it with part two tomorrow uh, with an example of... Uh, this uh, problem of indefinite prayer. Now, friend, it is time for us to pray with one another and for one another to our God and for others as well. Please remember, we can pray for you definitely and specifically. Uh, uh, if you would send in your prayer request, if you feel led of the Lord to do that, Here's our promise to you. Uh, we have a 24-hour uh, prayer chain in most, most cases. Uh, we have people praying uh, every 15 minutes and in between. And we pray specifically for people and their prayer requests and their needs. And we will continue to do that until you tell us to stop. Uh, the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer request at the end of this broadcast. Now, a friend of mine, please join me in prayer. Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We acknowledge our weakness and we acknowledge your strength. We pray today that you would give us the spiritual, mental, and physical strength for the journey today. Uh, Lord, we individually confess our sins and our faults and our failures unto you. Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, please forgive us of all sin as we, by your grace, forgive others. And Lord, help us to forgive others. 
of their sins and their foolishness and their weakness towards us. Lord, we pray that you'll fill each and every one of us today who's praying with me and uh, those who are not, who normally pray with us, who may not be with us at this very moment, we pray for them. We pray for all people who are on our prayer lists and fill all of us who are your children afresh and anew with the fullness and the power, Lord, of your Holy Spirit. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, that you would save those who are lost around us in our communities. We pray here at Gospel Light Society for over three million people to come to know your Savior uh, before it is eternally too late. We pray that you would revive and strengthen your Christian people all around the globe and prepare us for your second coming and we pray in the name of the lord jesus christ that you would cast out the devil and the demons of hell out of those people who are around us who are possessed by demons we plead the blood of the lord jesus christ even in some of our families and even in some of our churches we pray lord for your blessings, anointing, and protection upon each one of your pastors, church leaders, and missionaries across the country and around the globe. And Lord, we pray for all that you would use them for your glory, praise, and honor, and for the salvation of lost souls in these last and evil days. We pray, Lord, for our president and all other governmental leaders in this country. Save them, bless them, lead them, guide them, direct them, give them your wisdom, uh, knowledge, and understanding to do your work and will. And Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we pray for three people uh, who have sent in prayer requests to us here at Gospel Light Society. And we count it a joy to be able to pray for them. And Lord, do we uh, pray for your continued protection to do this work. As, as you know, we're being constantly attacked by Satan to hinder this prayer ministry. We pray this morning, Lord, for Maria in Guadalupe, Mexico. We pray that you protect her and show her the way that she should go. Lord, we pray for Michelle in Independence. Uh, I believe that's Independence, Missouri. Heal her of her medical condition and make her whole again. Help her to quit smoking. Bring her a true friend. Holy Father God, we pray for Katerina in Belgrade, Serbia. Strengthen the relationship between her and Dijon. Remove all barriers from their lives. And Holy Father God, we pray now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the following dear people who have received you as their Savior, who have become born again recently through the ministry of Gospel Light Society, that you have blessed us to have the privilege to be a part of your great work. We pray that you would bless and strengthen and lead God and direct to be strong Christians, Yarid and Bello, Colombia. Raul in Medellin, Colombia, Sara Luz in Arequipa, Peru. And now, Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the following people who have been uh, saved and have been Christians for a while, some for a long time, but somehow you spoke to their hearts uh, from the gospel literature that we've sent out or some other part of our ministry and have encouraged them to rededicate. Uh, it, is, it is unfortunately true. Some people, not all Christians, but some people backslide. Some people get out of your will. And in these last and terrible days in which we live, uh, some people get away from you. And Lord, it is a blessing that uh, by the power of your Holy Spirit, you draw us back to yourself. We pray uh, and we rejoice uh, with these who have made that decision, and we pray that you would give them your grace, your anointing, and the power of your Holy Spirit right now so that they can keep their commitments to you 
and uh, be totally dedicated to you until you come. We pray for Gary in Moscow, Eve in Nigeria, Coral in France as well. We pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please hear and answer our prayers. We know that you are doing that. We know that you will, and we thank you in, in advance. In the holy name of Jesus Christ. Now, dear friend, if you're listening to this broadcast and you have not accepted Jesus Christ, you have not received Jesus Christ into your heart, you have not believed in your heart that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose again, therefore you're not saved. God wants to save you today. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The Bible says in Romans uh, 10, 9, that if thou, you, shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt, you shalt be saved, for whosoever, verse 13 says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, friend of mine, if you're willing to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior and receive him into your heart, to believe in your heart that Jesus, that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose again, if you're willing to do that right now, pray with me this simple prayer. I prayed it over 30 years ago and the Lord changed my life. I have never been the same. Pray with me this simple prayer, Heavenly Father. I realize that I am a sinner for Jesus Christ's sake. Please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you have accepted Jesus Christ into your heart today as your Lord and Savior, please contact us today so that we can send you a free copy of our pamphlet titled What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. This will help you get started in your Christian life. Until next time, my beloved, please remember, pray. Think. Do. God bless you.